Hello, everybody. Welcome back here to High Button Sports as we get set for our first game of the weekend here on High Button. Friday morning between the Bulldogs and Pictou County White. Going at it, so two Pictou County teams here this weekend. My name's Jeff Warburton, ready to go as we are about to bring you all the action here from Annie Ganesh Arena as we get set out and started here. Puck picked up off the right side and some good speed moving into the zone. Cut off there. I do believe there's no hitting in this league, so we'll have to keep an eye on that as the games and the weekend start out. Hopkins with a friendly change as he came on quick there and it was sent down into the end boards, picked up here by Picto. Looking to move that out of their own end. Hopkins, Hopkins in the middle, shot into a shin pad. Moved up the right side, now that puck will be knocked back in and that one on the offside as our junior referee makes a good call with the sharp eyes. And that'll be just less than a minute in. So, high button here covering all the games right here on this channel. So, all weekend long you wanna keep an eye out as we'll be live for the games and on demand after, right under the live part on the home page of this channel. It'll have past live streams and that's where you can watch all the games from this weekend. Go back with the kids after, whatever you want. That one's sent in for a quick shot and it'll wrap around the left side here. Bulldogs moving it out. McDonald with some good strides up the middle. Hands that off. Pass received well. Drop back for McDonald. McDonald spinning around to the middle. Picto. Can't get it out down the right side. Good little burst of speed, but eventually off the stick. That'll come back to the line, McDonald. Number seven on the line. He'll shoot that one in, and it'll be steered off into the left corner. Trying to get that centered. Picto into McKecker, and McKecker pulls that in, and he'll head into the corner, the D-man down low. Brought back. Here by Picto is a cut move to the middle. Cochrane, he brings it in over the blue. Working away at that. Rolls off the stick in the Bulldogs with a full scale attack here as all five of them move up the ice. One D-man eventually pulling off. And I am on the tail end of a cold here. So if there's a couple coughs, I'll try to keep it away from the mic. But my apologies, over to Chisholm. It's a long weekend of hockey with a shot on the right side, scores! And just like that, we've got our first lead as Picto snaps that in and the Bulldogs are running a pretty good run and gun offense there to start, but the only thing about doing that is, gotta be careful of those goals when they come. And that'll be one nothing there for the Crushers early. There's Picto White on the board. Down the left side. To the hometown team. Takes a goal against here early and that'll be worked out by McKinnon. Lead pass to the middle. Grab now to the offensive zone. To the right side, opens up, shot, scores! As that one's put up top shelf in behind and quickly tied up in about 30 seconds. Barely had the scoreboard updated for you at home. And okay. That'll be one, one now. As the Bulldogs work it back in the zone and Fire one right under the bar. And a hot start here in Andy Ganesh. From the back side, it's chopped that. Come outside the line. Picto worked down into the corner. Back in behind. And a lead pass. Nice job by McDonald to pick that up on the backhand and spin himself around. Quick move to the middle. He'll be knocked down. And now, Puck 
Inside to the right side, back to Bond. Number six here, Bond shoots that into the linesman. And they'll have to tag up. Grab down low here on the left side now. Bulldogs look to work that out. Getting over the blue. Centering pass, misses the mark. Spun back around, Boyle gonna leave that as McDaniel shoots that down. Couple of Max and Mix on this Andy Ganish team. A Keckern, McDaniel, a couple of McKinnons. McDonald back there is one of the goalies. It's little things you notice when you start a tournament. And I know this Bulldogs team was excited to have High Button in the building. Chatted with a couple of them earlier. They're always excited about the live stream, but it seems to be the mic'd up that really gets most of the questions. I think the live streaming's more for the parents and the grandparents alike. Down the right side. Brought in by Chisholm, passes that off. A shot rolling off the stick over to the right. About a foot past that post. Pulled in along the end board, centering pass, rolls by the stick. Back to McIntyre. D-man way off the post, but Boyle gonna cover for him. Good job by Boyle picking up on that. Bulldogs play that back down low. Picto in behind as we work through our first five minutes here. 15 minute periods for the young guys out there. So lots of time in each game to get some something done. I guess some goals in the net. Is that one a nice save in front? Winding back for it. And with 10-14 to go in the first, we'll get the whistle. Appreciate everyone tuning in here. Should be an exciting weekend. There's high buttons spread out all over the province. Two rinks going down in Picto with the Trenton rink and Hector Arena. And then two in Brooklyn and West Hans for the female provincials. And then obviously I'm here at Andy Ganesh covering the U11 AA here for the Scotia League and then regular playoffs for the U15s and U16 majors back in the city. So all over the place for the crew. That one worked up through the middle, brought in with possession, kind of went feet first, but had enough possession. Over to the right side, trying to center that puck. Stick lifted along the left. Bulldogs look to work it out, chip by, looking for a speed boost, but a good job. Cutting in front there was Rowan Chisholm. Passed off. Collision there in the middle as the puck gets freed up. Down the right side, Bulldogs centering pass. Rolls past the stick there of Zaxton Bond. Over to the left, it rolls off the stick. And a lead pass in behind Chisholm. Chases. Up the wall, McDonald. Now in behind. Bulldogs poke that off to the corner. Grabbed. Try to get that down. Brody Boyle, but it's worked back in. Chip back in is Picto. Looking to play in the offensive zone here for a minute, but wasn't really able to get set up. Down through the middle. Crusher spin around. Over to McGinnis. B. McGinnis gets that up. Left side shot. Love save. And it's covered up. That was Reese Board who got his first shot of the game. And now we got 8.22 to go in the first. And the old Andy Ganesh Arena. I love coming out here and doing these tournaments. Got no mesh here in front of us, so a decent look down there on the ice. Back to McNaughton. Shot from the right side, and it's actually not too cold in here just yet. I might be knocking on wood for that one as it is a long day. We're gonna be going here from 11 until about 6.30 tonight. Through the middle. Bulldogs spinning and falling down is Chisholm. Picto picks it up. Back in behind for Murphy. Murphy. He circles back. 
Murphy head up, hustling. Oh, and yeah, Hopkins on the right side, a little too excited. And we'll get him on the line. We'll try again for the face off. Face off will be on the left side. Poked at. And one forward, Bulldogs. Hold in on the blue, that's flicked up in the sky. Try to chop that down. Back near the blue line. Cut back play there for Samuel McDonald. Turned over, lead pass to Chisholm. Sent it to the end boards, McIntyre and Chisholm going out of it on the left side. Picked out, center pass, rolls off the stick. McDonald fights for that in the corner. Drops on down, back to center. Cochran grabs over the blue. Left side shot and good shot by Cochran. Hadn't even reached the circle yet and wrists one in, but save made. As I believe that is Kay McKinnis in there. McDonald. Number 31 who's sitting on the bench right here in front of us. So Emerson K. McKinnis in net there for our first Bulldogs game. Over to the left side. That one's sent it to the end boards and it chops back up around. Picto County grabs it, dishes it off, and now McKeckern gets it down low, centering pass, hits a skate and heads into the right corner. We are 6.21 left to go in the first, and a pretty good first period here. Fluid, she can't always say that about some of these younger ages, but impressed with this first period. So far only, I think, a couple offsides, no icings yet to the line, and a big slap shot makes it pretty far in where it catches a picto body and works into the right side. Grabbed there by Boyle, who tries to clear it out, but picto holds. Back and behind up the left side. Tripped up, non-intentional, so they won't call it. Over here on the right side, picked up, gaining red and shot down. Had smart play here by the Bulldogs in this first period. Obviously tied 1-1. Not too shabby on Picto's side either, but seems like they're rolling it as a unit here. Bulldogs get to that red line, dump it in, get the next line out here. Play it back to the D, D goes on a rush, cover there as the forward. You know, simple fundamentals for hockey, but it seems like something that's been at least listened to and applied well throughout this year. The U11 AA year, always an interesting one for development so, e so early in that high level rep career. Murphy shoots that down. It's steered off into the right corner. Picked up past the hash marks on the right side, chopped back through the middle. Grab now by Picto County. Picto, left side, pass gets off. Amaro, lead pass. Up to Kelly. Down to the end board, it's gonna be grabbed. It's going for a skate tie. McDaniel turns it over, right side. On the stick, chopped in behind and now a chance potentially. Here comes McDonald, Ethan McDonald to the outside shot, save made, jamming away, and what a save on the goal line, it's still loose, and holy, scooping that one from the blue paint, that one looked about as good as in on the rebound, and a frustrated <coughs> player down there, and here on high button, we don't show injuries, so we're gonna steer away from that, but what a save. There by Kaizik Hayden for Picto White, save of the game here early. So here's a player down in front. For Annie Ganesh. You know, it was just a big melee there in front. That first shot was saved by Hayden. And then it was loose, a couple inches there on the right side. You can kind of see it sitting there from our angle end. Grabbed on the blue, in the blue paint, and now Bulldogs player gonna be helped off, and good to see he's all right. 
4.25 to go here in the first. And what an opportunity. Save made. So that was Hopkins who comes off. Little rattle out there, but it seems like he should be all right. Take a moment. And now a word here in front, ref and coach. And I think I heard them thinking it was maybe a headshot or something as the player does go off. So precautionary for Hopkins. And I have a feeling they're not going to be calling too many penalties here today if our first period's been any indicator. We'll continue on. 4.25 to go in the first. Back to McIntyre. Hits the pants and comes here the hash marks. Purcell works that in on the right side. He gets his first touches in the game. Nice centering pass, but no one home. As Picto picks it up. Now it's two on two the other way. Shot into the end boards. Centered and it rolls around. Bulldogs. Left side pass gets through. Lots of Picto players back though for the D as Boyle will just shoot that back in behind and skate off. Worked over on the wall. That comes back down. Tries to put through the legs and a shot into the skate cell. Won't get very far. Picto up through the middle, back to the Bulldogs who have owned the possession game here in the first, but overall pretty even. And that one's gonna be offside as stick handled on the blue line. Whistle comes. Just wanna remind everyone, make sure for the highest quality you can on your YouTube browser, click down on that right side where that little gear is and it says HD, click on that and make sure you switch it to 1080. It should go there by default, but if it's not, it might say 720. You could click on that 1080 and you'll get the highest quality here from Andy Ganesh Arena. Just a little reminder as we get close to the end of the first period here, just under three minutes to go. Backhanded through the middle. Picked up. Here comes Reese Board. Sent into the left side. And two on two there in the corner. Picked out there by Pictou County, jumping off from the coverage in front of the net there to take a swing was Oliver McKinnon. Shot from the line. This is by on the right post. Backhand Pictou, a nice pad save. Got that out in a hurry. Could have fall, could have gone in, definitely. 2.22 to go in the first. And a cut move the other way and a glove save. And the goaltenders have been pretty dang good here in this first period. A couple early goals. Picto was on the board first early and then less than a minute later, Andy Ganesh tied it up. But since then, there's been at least two or three quality saves by both sides. Down into the left side. Trying to get that through. Bulldogs pick it up. Picto with two minutes to go in their own end. Amaro feeds that back. Lead pass on the left side. Back in behind for McMichael. Sorry, McDaniel. Picked up there on the left side. I think there's a Connor McMichael who was quite popular in junior hockey way in uh, the OHL. So maybe that's where I was thinking of that one from. Back to the middle. McDonald. McDonald going for another rush here with just under 90 seconds to go in the first. He'll be cut off along the boards. Picto County White gets that over Amaro. Cut off near the hash marks there on the right side and it comes free. Stick gets in. Trying to lead that pass out but a good keep there along the boys by Purcell. Grabbed on the right side and 58 seconds remaining here in the first. Picto 
Gets it by one man, but then instantly there for a cutoff, knocked him behind. Right side, chance for a shot into the gut. Covered up and another save here in the Anaganish net. And some pushing and shoving after the whistle, and I think we're gonna see a little bit of that this weekend. Teams that know each other well here. Very motivated to take each other down during this tournament. Just kind of a kind of a regional playoffs is what they is what it was told to me, the regional playoffs. And the winner of this kind of continues their path. So playing for a lot this weekend as the minor hockey league season winds down day by day. That one up through the middle. Hit the back of McKecker and it will stay in the zone with 23 seconds to go. Picto tries to center. On the right side. Pass gets through. Back to Cochran, tipped. That one made it all the way to the net. On the blue line, flutter puck. Doesn't make it there. And with two seconds to go into the corner, that should take us to the end of the first. 1-1 off two quick goals, back to back. We'll be back for shortly for the second. All right, and a quick break in between the first and second there. We're right back at it. 15 new minutes on the clock in our 1-1 game. Game one this weekend. McIntyre picks it up on the right side. Gets poked on back in behind. Victor County up the left side. Back to the line, McDonald, he just holds it in. Gets it in behind a couple Picto players. Low shot, tipped in front, loose, rebound, shot. And saved again. Oh, and a big melee. And how did that puck stay out? McKinnon on the left side. And the, and the scramble has worked out here for Picto twice. They've gotten quite close on two Time. Wow, what a play that was. Thought for sure I was getting my goal call ready to go. It will remain 1 1, and during that intermission, Picto coach seemed pretty, uh, what did you call it, passionate about what he was saying over there on the bench. So I wonder if that's going to lead to maybe a more alert second period here for Picto. Not that their first was anything. Too bad. Down on the right side. Picked up. And fought for that one, gonna ting off the glass. Get at the glass here, it doesn't seem like it's too low. That's always, sounds random, but something you look for when you come to these rinks. You never know how high that glass is gonna be. When you go to Zatzman Sportsplex in Dartmouth. Can barely believe it passes for glasses so short. Here, seems like something you can work with. Work that puck up. Also, Glace Bay, Old Dominion Arena up there in Cape Breton, another one where you basically have to take the glass out of it as a factor if you're trying to clear a puck or something. No point in even trying. Chased in behind here on the left side. McKecker and gonna get to that first in the offensive zone, but just by a hair and it won't be enough. Moved up the right side, Barshawn. Shoots it high over the mask. Centering pass stopped. 
Bulldogs try to work it across. Jumps down to Boyle. Swept in around. Pictou County holds. Shot blocked. Bulldogs chipped up the right side. Looking for a rush back. But not much of a chance there to catch up to that puck is quickly worked back in. McNaughton, the D-man back. Bulldogs will give it another go. Up the left side, Purcell. In behind. That one rolling up the boards. Knocked back. Kept on the offensive zone, eventually falling out the neutral zone battle. Brought back in. Picto swept on. Walter works that back in. Grab Murphy. Murphy holds. Gets it up, looking for that lead pass. Picked up in a good burst of speed. Here comes McKinnon. Sorry, McDonald, right side. Shot, save made as it just goes by. Ethan McDonald. Picto. Trying to keep a stick on it. Heads into the corner. Grab down on the left side. Here comes McDaniel. McDaniel's shot in behind. McIntyre. Gets it across, McIntyre, lead pass up the left side, Chisholm into the feet, played back, Picto. Poked in behind, foot race back for that one. But they'll go for the icing, 10.47 to go here in the second. One, one here. We'll head into the right side, 10.47. Not too much happening so far in this period. Looking for a stick lift, is sent in behind. Grabbed by Bond. Bond tries to get that through some feet. Bulldogs catch up to it. Back to the line, blocked there by McNaughton into the corner. Bond, centering pass. Chopped away at that one. Bulldogs moving up ahead, left side. Now picking up some speed. McEachern fires that across, hits the stick there, and heads on down as McQuarrie tries to catch, his up, tries to, catch up to it. Purcell ends up with it. Purcell shot blocker save, and a good one there by Hayden. As they try to go short side. I like that shot selection. Still a goaltender's duel here. Could have been at least 3-3 or 3-2 at this point, but remains 1-1. Back to the line, McDonald shot. Picto jumps on that puck first. Clearing a good scoring chance out of harm's way. Gaining the red line and firing it in behind. Covered up there by the Bulldogs. And even as much as a drive-by from the Picto player, enough to get the eye of the Bulldogs. up on the right side, knocking it around, and it's Bulldogs who get it back to Avery. Chipped up the glass, stays in, spun out, looking for a penalty, but I'm not really sure what they would have called on that one. It kind of looked like a, just a stick lift. Here comes the Bulldogs, McKinnon. Hits the end boards, McDonald picks up the interception. Knocked back over, and a little lead pass to the right side, rolls off the end of the stick there. Crusher is gonna spin that around. 
Intercepted, shot, hits the glove and bounces down into the left side. Up the wall, that knocks back for Murphy. Murphy, he gets taken down and now our first penalty of the game coming here for the trip and it really needs to be something egregious and that was just enough. 8.28 remaining about halfway through our second period as we buzz through this one. And a two minute power play now. Face off will come on the right side here. 8.28 remaining and a two minute power play for the Bulldogs who look to take their first lead of the game. Picked up, Bulldogs, runs into a ref there, setting the kind of like a pick and roll there, picked up by Chisholm. <laughs> Daniel shoots that in, <laughs> pardon me. Into the end boards, knocked on back. Here comes Murphy. Murphy for the Bulldogs, gonna try for a reset here. 45 seconds gone on the man advantage. Murphy moves it up himself, has numbers. Left side, he'll come in, toe drag. Murphy shot, save, and what a solo effort by Murphy. Won't be enough, got about 95% of the way there. Shot with a save. And I didn't know if they'd be playing the classics here this weekend due to the nature of who's on the ice, the young guys. But from what I'm hearing, we're locked in. And for the man who's got to sit in the booth for I think 14 games, it's always good to have some good music, so much appreciated. Spun around, back to the line. McDonald lets one go with all his might, sent up high, looking for a rebound in front, they'll jam away at it, 46 seconds on the man advantage, into the feet in Picto, get it cleared to center. McIntyre on a circle back, turned over for the Crushers. That one's led in behind. Over to Vuj, he'll play it down to Vuj to McIntyre, 6.50 to go in the period, 21 in the power play. Our first man advantage of the game nearing its end. Up the right side. Picto in their own end for the last 10 seconds trying to get it out, Purcell stops it. And it gets sent over to McDonald on the right side. Pass through to McIntyre, back to even strength. Picto holds him behind, exits the line, and now brought back in. So 6-18 remaining, we're still square at one. That one hits the linesman, slows it down, but almost causing the offside. Rolled up in front, coming back here along the left. Shot back to Avery. Avery, punch down in front. In behind Bulldogs. Left side. McDonald gets tied up. Avery loses the glove. Bulldogs have numbers in behind. Shot saved along the post. Scramble in front. And whistle going. 5.34 to go. The save made. Another one back there for Kaiser Caden. Face off here on the left side. Back to McKinnon. McKinnon's gonna fire that along the end boards. Picto rolls it up the shaft of the stick, trying to get it centered away. Picto now hustling it out in through center. Left side shot. It was corralled and no real harm there on that rush. Played back to the middle. 
Crushers. Turn it over, Bulldogs in through center. Slapped at and quickly changing. So one thing I said earlier, the Bulldogs are doing well, keeping those lines moving. These players seem to kind of know their shift lengths and good times to change, and that's been a difference. It's the little things, you know, it doesn't really jump off the page, but here's a puck possession and odd man rushes and stuff. The edge slightly still goes to the Bulldogs down into the end boards. Crushers in behind. Bulldogs picked up. Reinhold shoots it in. 4.09 to go in the second. Cut back in behind. Pass connects. Steered. Reinhold. Trying to get a too many there. Coach escaped with that one, perhaps. It was tough to tell. Bulldogs in through the middle, shot. Steered away again. Hayden read that one all the way through. You see those two Bulldogs players sneaking behind the last Picto defender. Gotta be weary of that one. Two in the other way. Cabbed in along the boards here on the left side. McEckern up to Hopkins. Good to see Hopkins back out there after he went down earlier in the game. Hopkins passes that off to McDaniel. Hopkins honestly had probably the best opportunity recently. McDonald shot through the middle. That one rolls up and another save jammed. Whistle went. And a couple extra pushes. And I gotta be quick because I feel like if something like that happens, these players aren't too afraid for an extra whack. One one here, a three eleven to go. Thank you for everyone for tuning in. Been a pretty great kickoff game here so far. Three eleven to go in the second, and it's been an even matchup. Exactly what you want. Back to the line. That one's gonna miss the stick and head in behind. And along the end, boys. Nice little cut move out there by Warren Murphy. Murphy holds. In along the end boards. Eventually gets it up to Purcell after an extended time surveying. Over to McDonald. He tries to go down. Devoge takes a bit of a knock there from McDonald. Swinging stick. Bulldogs drop pass. Rolled off in front. Trying to battle through the zone there. Crushers. Sent down. And an ice there, 210. Haven't seen too many icings yet here, but one will bring us back into the Picto zone with 210 to go in the second. Five total teams in this tournament. They're in these playoffs. Two Picto, Bulldogs. We've got the Ramblers and then the Bearcats to round us out. Here on the left side, gets poked back in behind. McIntyre tries to grab it. Chisholm pulls in. Picto County into a skate. Amaro up to Marshawn. Right side. And in along the end boards. Penalty coming now, and now it'll be Picto County's turn for a power play, their first of the game. 140 to go in the second. So we'll finish out the second here with a penalty. Unless Picto can score one here and regain their lead. Been a while since a goal has happened. Over probably 20, 
25 minutes of actual game time. Picked up in the middle, Bulldogs. Lead pass. Trying to get that out. Amaro gets him behind, two on two now. Picto County on the left side. Centering pass, and almost falls in there off the Bulldogs stick, but hugging that post well. The net there, K. McInnes. Back to the line, intercepted and a little too slow. Here they come. Bulldogs can't get a shot off. Up the wall. Could be in behind with just enough speed. Picked up Bond. Centering pass off the skate. Rebound. Shots. Another save in front. K. McKinnis with a huge one. And I just don't know how that puck didn't go in. It rolled right up through the middle on another opportunity. And maybe I've just been commentating the older guys too much this year because some of these goals look like for sure they're going in, but these goalies know how to move and make the most of their size in that net. Jeez, well done there and a huge save on the PK. 17 seconds to go. That has not been the first time where I've got the goal call ready to go and had to pull it back on a great save. In this game, 1-1, one, one, goaltenders battle between two teams. Setting the tone for the weekend, and that'll take us to the end of the second. As we wait, and I'm just trying to see, looks like they won't go for the, they will go for the clear. So the teams will head off, and we'll take about a 10 minute break here. And we'll be back for the 15 minute third, 1-1. One, one. You don't want to go anywhere.
All righty, everybody. Welcome back here to our third period in game number one of the weekend. We're off to a hot start here. Lots of excitement through the first two periods, but also a one-to-one -one game. Two quick goals in the first period. The only thing we've seen so far, <coughs> pardon me, we are ready for the third period. Appreciate all the support here on the first stream. Seems like everyone's ready to watch and see who takes away this U11 AA crown. This weekend, we're in the first game, looking to get through this first one. Shot in there and a power play. Back to Picto, another shot. That one's gonna be steered into the corner. Power play now done. We're back to even strength here to start out the third. One quality chance though for Picto early. 15 minutes, so it looks like we're gonna be going with three 15s with the one flood in between. We'll kind of see where that averages out to as the, we the weekend goes on in terms of how long the games are. If I was to guess, that's probably gonna bring us somewhere around an hour and 30 for each game, give or take. This one, play, this one being played pretty well here though. Not too many extra whistles. Picked up through the middle, an extra dangle won't go. Swept on in and a glove save. Cradling that bad boy in net. Bulldogs goaltender. And we see the support here for the Bulldogs in behind the net. Let's go Bulldogs. And then a couple of the members of Picto Red, I'm gonna guess, who are up here shortly. Already in the gear, ready to go. And I haven't been given word if we're just gonna start early if we can or not. But that will become pretty clear after this third period. So we'll just have to wait for that and I'll keep you updated. Down into the right side. Gonna be played up the wall. Bulldogs backhand that cut off. Picto into the feet. McDonald trying to get that out. Drop back in, Bulldogs stopped, left side picked up. Still with possession, shot from wide, pad safe, kicked out. Read that one pretty well as it heads into the middle again, rolls up a stick. Cut back move there, McKinnon. Played it down, McQuarrie. McQuarrie one on one along the end boards. Still fighting for that. Heads up the wall, kept in near the blue line, fanned on another whack at it. Picto County now on the left side. Trying to jump up on it, Bulldogs keep the zone. And I'm listening to these coaches here and they're calling for a change here, despite being deep in the offensive zone. So that was something we talked about. And here does come the change. That was something we talked about, how on the ball the changes have been, keeping fresh legs to the Bulldogs. And I think we just saw Maybe exhibit A right there. Half possession down low, but no that and would rather change out and get their lines squared up or get fresh legs. Coach is prioritizing the change. It's just not something I see all that often. Picked up through the middle. Grabbed on the right side. Board. Has to get that one back through. Picto County right side. In through the middle. Grabbed by Wyatt McIntyre. Wyatt works over to Dwyer. Dwyer brings that on Chisholm just on by a hair. <coughs> Back over for McIntyre. Right side, Picto. Pulls back, board, board. Going for a rush through the middle. Board gets through, board, backhand. Stays out, another save. Stayed with him the whole time. <laughs> and that'll get a reaction from the crowd. And that was maybe our first like partial break in a, a little while here. And Bohr just skated his way into that one. Got in behind the Bulldogs defenders. Splitting the D they call that. Down the left side, Bohr up to McGinnis again. And knocked back into the corner, McDonald's. Up the wall. 
Own body first now. Puck will exit the zone. Comes through the middle, hits McDonald. Back to the McDonald. Oh, and a, that was a, a big collision there. No call on it. As it comes to the middle, I'm surprised that one didn't get it as a big open ice hit here for the U11 double A's. <coughs> Pardon me. Down into the end boards. And behind, Bulldog center, hits a skate, back to the line, steps up, shot from distance. And it's covered up. 10-17 to go in the third, so almost five minutes into it. I'll have a whistle. And I might need to have to pick up some cold effects after this. Said feeling all right. But when you're on the tail end of these colds and you're in the rink, the cough does rear its ugly head sometimes. So feeling decent though, so that's okay. Chisholm shot down low. Like I said, my apologies if it ever comes over. 10, 12, we'll try again. And that was a great chance for Picto to retake their lead on that boring partial break. But the goaltender's duel continues here in the first game between Kaiser Hayden and Kay McInnes, who have both made multiple saves at this point that have either could have been goals or should have been goals. Down the right side, brought in. Fished out by the Bulldogs. Into the middle, chop that. Back to Marr. Can't get much of a shot off, but it steers ahead. Swept on. On the left side, McCrory tries to step on it. Marr gets the pass across. Reynolds just gonna dish that into the right corner. One on one down low, Bulldogs come up with it. Chops back down. Picked up and some pressure there on the blue line and it gets back in behind. Bulldogs one on one down the left side. Just gonna have to shoot and an extra push after. Shot in, save made, another chance. That hits the side of the net. Pulled back. Picto has it there in front. Comes back to the line. Grabbed by McKinnon, Oliver. McKinnon shoots it in and then steer it off into the corner. Back in behind by the Crushers. Cut off. Chisholm, right side. Steered through. And it rolls past the stick. Doe County trying to chop it out again. Grab down low. Marshawn can't pick it up. Picto up to Marshawn again. Murphy chops that off. Looking to go up through the middle. Bulldogs now have numbers the other way. Murphy, Murphy to the middle, shot. Save as it rolls out, but I wouldn't call that one a quick whistle as definitely had it. Eight twenty-two to go in the third. Face-off down here on the right side, and we've got some more people in here, so I want to say, reminder, to watch the stream at the highest quality. It should do it automatically for you, but if it doesn't, on YouTube, click that little gear box in the bottom right. And make sure it's on 1080. It'll give you the highest quality viewing for this tournament. Like I said, it should do it for you, but if it doesn't, it's always good to check. Down there on the left side. Couple stick lifts, Picto gets it back in behind. Chisholm sitting in front, pass, rolls high off the stick. And a good job there, potentially saving a chance. I think that was Murphy, who with the shaft of his stick, ended up breaking up that two on one, or that feed in front, I should say. Back for Picto. 7.33 to go in the third, so halfway done. This third period still don't have a goal, so we're about 30 minutes of game time. Still not resulted in one. Up the left side, kept in. Bulldogs though pick it up on the blue line. Lead pass, looking for it. Rolls off the end of the stick. And a lucky bounce there for Picto. This could have been off to the races there. 
for number six, McEachern. But it just hit the stick and rolled off. McKinnis now on the right side. Back in behind, McDonald. Good footwork there. Back through the middle, Bond. Bond, shot that one off the mark as it goes to the right and wraps back along the boards. Picked up Bulldogs. Shot down and it will just have enough power for icing. 6.34 left to go in the third. And we get a look here at the coach. Looking like a college football fan with those hand motions. <laughs> Looking for a first down. 6.34 left to go here in the third. If we're talking college sports, big first weekend for March Madness. Have that on in the background of this stream. If you're at home, picked up on the right side. Now kind of swimming out there. Moved out of the blue paint. And down the right side, Bulldogs try to get that through. But the one knee method works for the defender there for Picto McDonald. Circling back in around. Chisholm down the right side, Chisholm. Chisholm finding some room in front. Chisholm shoots, save. Covering the five hole off there, Hayden. On a cut move in front. Now another chance from a sharp angle, save made. Still 1-1. Trying for a lead pass, Purcell jumps on it. Heads over to the right side. Cutting through the middle, shot pad, save the other direction. Player down in front, Board takes himself off though, even good job by him. McIntyre shot, glove save, rebound in front, right side, trying to jam in, can't get it down, and plenty of picto bodies to clean up the second rebound. And I like that move by Board. Clearly he was hurting down there on the ice, but instead of rolling around, he got back up, hustled off, and potentially helped his team out, play in front, that one rolls to the blue paint. Lead pay to the middle, Cochran, Cochran. Up the wall, fanned on by Chisholm. Back in behind on the left side. Bulldogs, lead pass, jumps off the stick. Connects, just onside, McKeckern. Into the right corner, under five minutes to go now here in the third. Down and around. Picto County gets the pass off. McDonald picks it up, but had to reach back a little too much for it. So that might have been McNaughton. Like I said earlier, so many mix. He could have taken me a minute to pick him out, and get used to it, but, but I'll get there. Down along the right side. Back to the blue line. Chopped in, handed off. Swept on, Picto County comes out with it. And a Bulldogs player down in the corner, allowing Picto to have a lane down the right side, stopping up, 3.44 to go. We're getting dangerously close to next goal wins territory here. Back in behind, Amaro tries to pass it off, rolls off the stick, Picto County into the middle. Now they chase to the right side corner. Getting down to the wire here. Right side picked up, Picto County overskated it. Stick maybe caught him up high, spun him out. Bulldogs jump on it. Sent back in and now the Bulldogs will get that change off. At least one player's Hopkins jumps on. 3-0-2. Bulldogs in the offensive zone here. In around the end boards. Andy Ganesh played back to the blue line. Rolls off the stick. Tried to chip that back in behind. That one will go for an ice and 2.43 remaining. 1-1 one, one here in the third and the faceoff will come on the right side. There's Picto with a late icing here. 
What a way to start off our tournament though, a great game. And we like to say, set the tone. And the tone has been set for these next two teams. Which I believe is Truro and then Picto Red. You can double check that, backed up the right side. Board hustles, pulls it in. So that was Zaxton Bond. We got a board and a bond. So that was Bond that time around. Picto County holds, shot, shoots it in on net. Won't get there, 2.19 to go. Up the wall, Mahar shoots that back in line for McDonald. <laughs> Pardon me, into the middle. Pucks loose, dangerous, and it steers into the corner. Bulldogs trying to exit that zone, stays in. Bond whacks at it, McDonald into the feet. Bond catches up, Bond in front, shot, rolls. Hits a skate, McIntyre now clears it out down the right side. Pinching it along the wall, we'll just face plant into the ice there and everyone's getting involved there. Now as we've got just an icing with a minute and 32 to go, so 92 seconds remaining in this one, 1-1 one, one the score. And an icing back the other way. Head down here to the Andy Ganesh end. Steered back in behind, rolls up off the glass. Lead pass to Andy Ganesh. Bond, Bond, tries to get it up. Oh, and a close offside there. Bails out the Bulldogs, 1.13 to go. And thanks to everyone for tuning in here for game number one. Still 1-1, one, one. two goals like in the first five minutes. Thought maybe it was gonna be a shooting gallery out here for game one, but the basically pretty, the exact opposite happened. No goals since. And a real solid game played by both sides. I mean, slight edge maybe towards the Bulldogs in terms of chances, but nothing really to complain at by either coaches or either team. Good effort in game one in the last minute of play here, 50 seconds to go. Bulldogs get chased to their own end. Picked up in behind. That one's gonna wrap over to the left side, looking to get a skate going. No penalty there as the crowd calls for it and it gets in behind McDonald. He's the first man into the Picto end. 27 seconds to go. In through the middle. Picto County now, 20 seconds. Bond, he jumps up, tries to dish it off to the right side. It's back down low, Bulldogs. Some pressure in behind. Left side, led ahead. Andy Ganesh, lead pass, off the mark, and with two seconds to go, that'll take us to the end of regulation. And handshakes all around as we start out with a tie here. Thanks to our two goalies, Hayden and Kay McInnes. That's the only reason it's 1-1 at the end of all that action, but what a first game to get us started as we'll give out the MVPs here. And the MVPs, part of the package is a nice toque there from High Button. Each of the MVPs this weekend will get one. We're not picking them, but we're getting the hat regardless. And if I was to give my two cents on the MVPs, I think you know where it would go. 1-1 in a tight game between two Consistent rivals. As the coaches shake hands, we'll go to center, get the MVPs, and then get set for our next game. Game number two here on the opening Friday.
Yep, and Hayden's gonna take it home there for Picto. And a great effort by him. All right, so Murphy's gonna take it home on the other side, and that'll do it. So congratulations to those young guys, and we'll 